Thank you for joining this troubleshooting screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. In this video, we're going to troubleshoot duplicate rules. Duplicate rules evaluate whether records are duplicates of each other and prompt users to take action on them, like merging them. In this situation, we have two accounts named Acme Inc. and my duplicate rule was supposed to fire when two account records have the same value in the account name field. So why is this box saying no duplicates found? Let's go to our rules. To navigate to your rules, go to Setup, then search Duplicate in the Quick Search box and click on Duplicate Rules. In a brand new org, Salesforce's standard duplicate rules for accounts, contacts, and leads are ready and enabled, but you can disable them and write custom rules if you want. Notice you can also tell which rules are active or not. Here, let's look at the only active duplicate rule on accounts and click on its title to examine how it works. Once in the rule, click on Edit so you can see what choices the rule is making when it fires. By Record Level Security, you'll see if the rule is set to enforce sharing rules, which means it will only compare records the user has access to. If Enforce Sharing Rules is selected and our user does not have access to the top account here, they will not see a duplicate alert when creating the bottom record. In our situation, though, I have access to both records, so I'll take a look at the other settings. Next, scroll down to Matching Rules. Matching Rules are the actual logic of how records are considered duplicates of each other. You can see this Account Duplicate Rule uses a custom matching rule. To examine the matching rule, save the rule. Now the matching rule is a link, and you can click on it to go to the matching rule. Here's my custom rule, and you can see its matching criteria is that the account names must be exact matches, and that it is not matching blank values. But the two records have matching account names, so the matching rule's criteria are met. What else could be responsible for the rule not firing? Let's go back to our duplicate rule. Click back in your browser to go back to the duplicate rule. Scroll down to the rule's conditions. The conditions tell your duplicate rule when to evaluate certain records. When blank, then the duplicate rule will evaluate every record for the object. Here we see that the conditions are for the account's type to be customer channel. That means it will only fire that alert if a user is creating a customer channel account with the name that matches another customer channel account. Let's go back to our Acme Inc. records. We can see that while one is a customer channel account, the other is customer direct. This account is not being evaluated by the rule. Now it's your decision if the two should be treated as duplicates and if the rule's conditions need modifications. To test your duplicate rules, Make text records that you expect to be flagged and try changing their fields. Our best practice recommendation is to keep the standard rules active and in conjunction with any specific duplicate rules you're writing. If you're using Salesforce's standard duplicate rules or using Salesforce standard matching rules, check out our help articles on how those rules are evaluating whether or not records are duplicates. You can find links to them in the short description of this video. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.